C Card Pools is not a good company. I've had a very bad experience with them. I was a salesperson came to our house who had no experience on installation, what to look for, any problems that he could foresee. We weren't told of, and that's because he was inexperienced. I'm out seventeen hundred and sixty dollars from C Card plus another eight hundred probably from the Mason that we hired. Okay, so from the beginning, we have a vinyl lined pool. It is an in-ground pool. And we decided to go ahead and get the liner replaced because it had several tears in it when we purchased the house. Um, I went online, I looked up vinyl liner replacement. About two or three companies came up, so I just went down the list. C-Card was the first one to call me back. I scheduled an appointment with Vince Madison, and he came out in about two days. It was really quick. Uh, he took a look at my pool, and he said, no problem. We can do this. Um, I can get you started with a $200 deposit, and um, we can replace the liner. And he told me that uh, there would be certain steps so when I was ready to come down to the office. Now, the first thing I asked him before we uh, finished his meeting is my husband and I pulled up some of the loose brick because we noticed it was wobbly when we were using the pool. So we pulled up the loose brick and asked him, is this going to be a problem? Should we put the brick back down? Or he said, oh, no, 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 no. You can do that after. Don't worry about it. It's fine. And I said, okay. So we actually put the project on hold for about a year and when i went back to him a year later this past um april when we went back when i went back to him and i said okay we're ready we want to do this and he said okay let me come over and take some pictures sorry in february i said um he said let me take some pictures of your pool and so i can send it to my construction people and we'll get started i gave him the two hundred dollars he wrote up a contract, he came out, took the pictures, did everything he said he was going to do, and then I waited for the measurements. That was the next step. I was to pay him $1,560 for, for the measurements. That means the installers or the construction would come out and take measurements. This didn't happen right away. It took about three weeks, and finally I got a call from Ashley and she said, hi, I'm calling to get your payment. And I said, what do you mean? There's been no measuring done. And she said, oh, no, we already have the measurements from your pool. We replaced the liner the last time. We were the company that replaced your last liner 10 years ago. And I was like, oh, wonderful. Okay, great. So you have the measurements. I picked out my liner. She said, yes. I said, okay, here's my credit card information. I gave her the 1560 And she said, we'll be calling you within a week to schedule your installation. I said, great. About a week later, she did call. It was scheduled for April 9th through the 11th. She said, you don't need to do anything. The installers will come. They'll bring the liner. They drain the pool. They do everything. Once they're done, you pay the next payment of fifteen sixty. Okay, so the installers came out on the 9th just as scheduled. As soon as he walked through my back gate and looked at the pool, he said, I can't install a liner here. And of course I said, what do you mean? He says, your brick is damaged. And I said, no, Vince said that that was okay, that you guys would just, you know, um, go ahead and put it in and we can repair or put the brick on top later. He goes, no, none of this track or all this rebar is bad. It all has to be replaced. I cannot install. I said, okay. He goes, let me call my construction manager. He got on the phone with him. I'm on the other line calling Vince, telling him, hey, your people are saying they can't do this. He says, I'm on vacation right now, but um, let me call you back. So the installers left because they said, we can't install it. So then Vince calls me back two days later. That was a Thursday. He was on vacation. He called me back the following Monday. And he said, you need to get the brick fixed. And I go, what are you talking about? You have the pictures of everything. I told you everything. You said it was fine. He goes, well, you know, you can sue me. And I said, Sue, what are you talking about, Sue? I want to get my pool fixed. What is going on? Why can't you tell me what I need to do? 
and he said, well, you have to, you have to hire a Mason. You got to find somebody. I said, what do you mean? I have to, don't you have somebody that can fix this? No, we don't, we can't touch that pool. We didn't build it. We can't touch it. I said, give me the number to somebody that I can talk to that knows what they're talking about. He gives me the, the phone number to Brian, the construction manager. The construction manager tells me, I don't know why Vince told you that we couldn't help you. We can help you. We have, um, we out, we have a contractor that we use to do this. Uh, let me give you his number. I was like, fine. And I think I originally said his name was Ramon or something like that. Anyway, he called me. I called him. Very knowledgeable. He told me. I sent him the pictures. He said, you need to completely tear all of this out before it can a liner can be put in. And he said, I live in Los Angeles County, which is like an hour away. And he said, just by the looks of it right now, I would ask for my money back. And I would go on with a rebuild. I said, are you kidding me? You can't do this? He said, it's not that I can't do it. He says, but until we pull that liner up and drain everything out of the pool, there could be some underlying problems. He said, Vince should have told you that. And I said, but Vince isn't a construction person or an installer. He's a salesperson. And he said, yeah, well, I would try to get my money back. At least you should be able to get the liner because you paid 1500 So at that point, I was like, okay, fine. I called Brian back, and he tells me the same thing. You need to find a mason. There's nothing we can do. He said, we're not giving you your money back because you don't own the liner. You haven't paid for it all, and you signed a contract. And I said, well, it, it says that the general manager is supposed to sign this contract so doesn't that make it null and void? He says, no, Vince is considered the manager at your location. I was like, fine. I mean, at that point, there was nothing I could do. So I went ahead and found, or actually a friend of ours, found a mason through Facebook, uh, Gabriel. He came out. He looked at our situation. He said, I can rebuild it. I can do all the work, which he did. That was another another $500. Um, that we paid him. He came out, did all everything. He sealed it and another $300 to fix any cracks. Let me back up. After he did the brickwork, my husband called Vince and said, okay, we got the brickwork done. Come out here and tell me what we need to do now to get this liner put in. Vince came out this past weekend and he said, you need to fix all those cracks and then um, install the foam yourself and then we'll be ready to do it. So we called our Mason back. He said for $300 or 250, I'll go ahead and clean up all the cracks. He did that. So now we're at the point where we're calling Vincent and seeing if he, he said he was gonna give my husband a roll of foam to install himself. My husband has to do it. They won't do it. So that's where I'm at today. They will never restore my trust. Um, what they do need to do is finish the job. And instead of coming up with all these additions, I just got another one. It's going to cost me another uh, $350 for new track. I have to pay for all new track, which was not mentioned um, in the first conversation we had. So that's in addition to the 1560 plus another 200 do it cut in. So no they cannot they're never going to have my trust i will never use them again i will never recommend them again i just need them to finish what we started